Am I straight enough? <laughs> I think I might be. I don't know. But today's day is been April 8th, it is, and I don't think I'm straight enough. And so, because of that, I thought I better show a little bit of this haul. And what did I do with the pack? I have no clue. I just had it. I bought a pack of Eclipse glasses. Yeah, a dozen of them. And I bought them on Amazon. I'll have to find the the package, I just had it in my hand. That's how bad I am. But I got a pack of 12 in case somebody we knew might need some. Oh, I see it, I think. Maybe. No, I don't. <laughs> we just got back from picking up the line. I thought, well, before the eclipse hits, I can't see anything through them. I see... A little bit of my Edison light up there, and that was it. So, I better find the package. Where they're all at. But they had them, I think it was $8.99 for 12 So, I didn't think that was too bad. And this was on, did I say this is an Amazon order? At different times, hit and miss what I got, whatever hit my brain that day, and I thought, I might need this or that. That's how I do with Amazon. And I do with Walmart, too, on some items. But, yeah, today's Eclipse Day. Solar Eclipse Day. Don't know how much we'll be able to even see of it because it's been raining and cloudy all day. I ordered a flag. A couple of them for spring. I ordered one with butterflies. Is that not pretty? I mean, I keep talking about butterflies and how we just don't have a lot of butterflies like we used to. And this year I'm hoping, hoping that maybe I can focus a little bit more on having a few flowers in the yard. That might uh, bring attention to them. But I thought if not, maybe they'll see this flag with butterflies on it and say, hey, we found our people. And I thought that was really pretty. So I got the butterfly flag and I said for spring, but this flag will stay up through summer. There's no need in me buying another flag. But I bought two flags. I've got a front door that's the nine lot, and I like to put something over it, especially for nighttime, and I found out these flags are about the right size for it. So, I've got one that says welcome with the red truck, the flowers. Is that not pretty? Could hang, I might hang that one up outside in the uh, butterfly one in the house. That might be how I go. Because I still see the butterflies, one thing. But I couldn't pass up that one that says welcome. Yeah, that one might be the one that has to, I don't know yet. We'll know when we know. But it's double-sided, both of them. And the prices on them weren't bad either. They were both way under $20. So I thought that was a good deal. And they're a good size. I think it was like 40 by 28, something like that. Let me see, it just says house flat. Monarch, Monarch Madness. And this one says welcome flower. Yeah. That's why I got them. I thought, if we can't have butterflies flying around, I needed something that hopefully might bring them to us. In the kitchen department, some sesame, white sesame seed, premium roasted, eight ounces. 
and the bottle looks a little dinged up, but it's sealed, good to go. But Tammy and I, we went to uh, a Chinese restaurant, and she liked these little bread things that had the sesame on it, and she said they were kind of doughy, and they were. And she's talking about wanting to make some, and I thought, well, maybe if I buy these between me and her, we both can use it and make us some of what she's talking about. She doesn't even know I got it yet. So I just bought one of those. I don't know if I've ever bought sesame seeds, and I'm hoping I bought the right kind, premium roasted, white sesame seed, non-GMO. So we'll see. I still haven't told her yet that I bought it, so if she sees the video, she may comment in the comment section, or she might just call me. I don't know. One thing I was looking for, and I've not been able to find a really good deal on it, is the grits with the jalapeno, and I think most of the time when you get grits, too, it's jalapeno and cheddar. And normally I get them at Yugo when they are on a really good price. It's the individual packs for the microwave. Well, I've not been finding that, and it got me to thinking, why can't I get my own jalapeno powder or dehydrated jalapeno and just make my own grits? I've got grits here. So I found jalapeno powder, eight ounces, and so I bought it. Adds flavor and heat. Create great in soups, sauces, and stews. It'll be great in grits, too. <laughs> I think this jalapeno powder will last me a while, don't you? I also like to put a little heat sometimes, like in my meatloaf, which I tried something different last time, and it was really good. But if I don't have a jar of jalapeno, because I don't go through uh, jalapeno real quick, because I'm the only one that eats it here, uh, I figured this right here would be the ticket to give me the heat, and I'm not wasting it. So, got one of those. It's amazing when you're sitting and you're thinking about what you want to do, what you need to do, <laughs> and then you come up with stuff. You do. Well, when I was sick, two things I ate pretty continuously. One was uh, creamy wheat cereal. I didn't have cream of wheat, but I had the number 10 can of the Augustan Farms creamy wheat cereal, like this one right here. Can you say I was afraid I might run out and not have any backup? Because it's good cereal. It says 36 servings per container. I still have a lot of it. But when I started craving, maybe it's a thing about when we were younger and Mama used to make us cream of wheat. I wanted cream of wheat. And I got to thinking, oh, I've got some in a number 10 can. And actually, it was good. It is good. Or I wouldn't have bought another one. For $9.99, I think it's a better deal than getting the regular cream of wheat. And this one says it's good till May 8th of 1933, I mean 2033, so that's what, nine more years, so it's like 10 years, so I thought that was a good deal, it won't be 10 years, as soon as the other one runs out, I'll open this one, but it's creamy cream of wheat, no creamy wheat cereal, <laughs> So if you grew up eating cream of wheat, I think you'll like this particular cereal. Actually, there's a recipe I'm wanting to use some of it in with another number 10 can of something I have. So hopefully soon I'll do it. I'm still between I feel better and I don't feel better. I feel better and I don't feel better. But I feel better more than I don't feel better. The other day, I showed a Yugo haul. And I bought uh, peppered gravy, country gravy. 
and I paid a dollar. It was the family size that made three and a half cups. And I said, had I known I could got it for that, I may not got something else, but I did. I bought a case of the Pioneer Gravy. It says better by one four twenty six, so it has a good long shelf life. It was a dozen of them for twelve dollars and something. I'm doing it from memory, so a little over a dollar, but it's only two cups a pack instead of the three and a half cups a pack. Of course, two cups for us is good for one meal. If I have company, I can always use more. But for uh, another thing that I craved with toast when I was sick, it was this and toast, uh, fried egg sandwiches, liver cheese sandwiches, my coleslaw, and the creamy wheat cereal. That was a lot of what I ate for almost two months. So I thought I better replenish my gravy, my country pepper gravy. And uh, I didn't open it. Of course, most of you probably know what the packs look like. I usually get the Southern Mills gravy when I can, but I also buy the Pioneer peppered gravy mix. And that's what it looks like. And at the Dollar Tree, you pay a dollar and a quarter for the peppered gravy mix. So this is a better deal at on uh, Amazon. And it was free shipping. Did I get anything else from Amazon? I think that might be it. Might be it. Now on to Walmart. There's a day I went in there because I'd like to have some curtains for my bedroom. And I needed some new curtain rods to go. I needed curtain rods to go over like the door for the flag and stuff. So Kenny and I went into Walmart and what few groceries I bought, I've done showed in another haul. But I got a couple of these 28 by 48 decorative cafe rods. Because I was in need of them. And I forget how much they were. I think eight something. But I got them at Walmart. And had a hard time deciding which curtain to get. Or what curtains to get. Kenny said he thought these might work. I need to get busy so I can get them hung up. And I just wanted the shorter ones because we keep an air conditioner in one of our windows. A 63 inch panel pair. It's ivory with the rod pocket. So I bought a couple of these. I looked online. Wasn't sure about it. And Kenny had to go into Walmart that day anyway. And he said, well, let's look and see if we find something there. So we went kind of neutral with it. If I don't use it in our bedroom, I know I can use it in the house. And they're textured. So I thought that was, uh, I forget how much they were, but I remember I thought it was a pretty good deal. But they don't have curtains like they used to have in the stores because a lot of stuff, you can find better online, and I say it's because they can't stock everything in the stores that they can put online to sell. He found these, and he wasn't going to get them, and I said, you better get them while you can, because it's almost summertime, and you may not find them. It's the zipper po pockets. They stretch, athletic, reflective, pants. And he really liked these. And I said, well, if you like them, you better get them. See, there's a zippered pocket where he can close it all the way up. And I believe he already had this brand from another shopping trip. So he knew he'd like it. It's real, it's heavyweight material. It's not thin. And it feels good and it stretches. He really likes these. And they were $16.98. Couldn't wait till they might have went on clearance because they may not have had his price or they may not have had his uh, size even. So he got 
two pairs. I see one pair. He got two pair. He let me keep this one to show you. He's already wore the other ones. He likes them. And the most recent purchase I got from Walmart, I actually, well, I forgot one Amazon purchase. I'll show it to you in a minute. Because I went to the plant sale at the high school, and I had one grow light. I don't know if I've ever shown it to you or not. It's just a table, plants to the table. I've seen this one on uh, Walmart.com, LED grow light, suitable for all plants in different growing stages. And it's a floor stand. So I thought, I might need this for my plants. It seems like they're doing pretty good right now. Uh, one of my tomato plants actually has a bloom, and I know to go ahead and pinch that off. I'm hoping I can plant them outside pretty soon. I still need to show them. But I thought, I can use that with these plants that I bought at the high school, or if I get ready to start seeds on my own, I can have one that stands on the floor and doesn't take a table room. And that was Walmart. And it was on sale. I forget how much. It's under $30. And I thought it was a good deal. I think the table model, that clamp was like $22 and something. Everybody knows I'm serious about my coffee. Well, I've been trying to find K-cups in the decaf because I'm trying to stick with decaf like my doctor asked me to. I'm doing a lot better with everything, especially with the medicines they had me on. I don't want to take a chance, but I know that Omi and I'll be on the road some, or me and Kenny and Eli on the road some. I normally take my little Walmart knockoff cake at Keurig, the knockoff, the mainstay one. And I usually take my own coffee and my creamer and my sweetener. So they had Mog's World's Strongest Decaf Coffee, and I thought, that's talking to me. It's hard to find a K-cup reasonably priced in decaf. Uh, I think I still paid like $40, but there was 100 pods. Still a lot cheaper than if I went out and spent, even if I spent a dollar a cup, that'd be $100. And it may not even be worth drinking. And that's at the cheap end of coffee. Most restaurants are two, three, four dollars just for a basic cup of coffee. And I'm known to make my coffee and take it with me about everywhere I go. That's what I did today. So the world's strongest decaf, 100% Arabica coffee, gourmet coffee by Mods. I've never heard of this brand. I have tried it. I will say to me, the taste is not quite like the Folgers I, I've been brewing. I will say that. I'm not saying it's bad. And I know I'll be using all of it. I wish Folgers had one. And I think I punched in for Folgers decaf K-cups. I need to check and, or double check. But uh, this is a good alternative for when I'm going off and going to be gone the night or something and want my own coffee. I take my little... Like I said, I take my little cup, take my little pods, and have coffee. Whew. This was what I would call a little bit of everything, huh? Wouldn't you? Getting ready for the eclipse. So, I need to get off of here, find all the glasses I have, see if the boys are ready to go outside. Won't be too long that we'll be getting outside. I keep looking around, I know, because I'm thinking, I know I had those glasses in my, <laughs> they're still in the carton. I hope y'all get to see the eclipse if you want to, and uh, I'll try to maybe report back if we got to see it or not. But thank you for watching. It's a little bit of this and a little bit of that from Amazon and Walmart to my favorite places to shop. And until next time, we'll talk soon. Can I say, the pack of glasses was sitting right here. As soon as I got up, I found them.